My name is Luis Andrew Artayag and I'm the researcher of the circuit. My job is to research about the topic and the background of the author. My name is Christian Paul D. Marquez and I'm the illustrator. My job is to draw some kind of pictures related to the reading that we will discuss. My name is Nelson Cabero and I'm the summarizer. My job is to prepare a brief summary of today's reading. My name is Sinapula Susa and my job is to talk about the background of the characters in the story. My name is Mary Joy Suarez. My job is to carefully track where the action takes place during today's reading. My name is Eucharistia Veronica Flores. My job is to be on the lookout for a few words that have a special meaning in today's reading selection. My name is Marela Gilviray. My job is to locate a few special quotations in the text for our group to talk over. My name is Lance Desjardins Razon and I'm the connector. My job is to find connections between the book and us and between the book and the wider world. We will have a story to discuss today. What is the story title? It's about the three musketeers. I heard that is a good story. Okay, researcher, what is the background information of the author and the story? The story is set in 17th century France. Dumas' portrait of the time, which was well already two centuries past when he wrote about it, is unquestionably idealized. About the author, the author is Alexander Dumas. He was born in July 28, 1802, at the Villers Scott Lawrence High School, France. He died at December 5, 1870, and in the Fuse Saint Maritime, France. He is a son of a general and an estate African. Oh, that's informative. Okay, let's go with the travels tracer, Mary Joyce. The action begins when Constance kidnapped by the abductress and Bonjour, saved her and fell in love with him. The introduction, the three musketeers in two locations in Europe, first in France, it is found in the beginning of the story. Then the second location happened in England, when the, the Arctic man reported the situation. The story started, the Arctic man arrives in Paris with almost no money, hoping to become a mus musketeer. The events ended, the Arctic man is promoted to lieutenant in the musketeers, all the loose ends are rough, Wrap up, Portos get married, Athos continues to serve in the musketeers until until he inherits some land. And Aramis enters the priesthood, the Arctic man makes a new friend, and Monsieur Bonzoa disappears. Uh, so it was said in the famous places in Europe. And now we will unlock some vocabulary words. Can you tell some of them, Yuka? These are the difficult words I found in the story. Um, first one, impulsive, means tending to do things suddenly and without careful thought. In page 250, example, the artisan's impulsive nature gets him into trouble. And the next word, ungallantly, means without fashion. Example, he offends ungallantly and unintentionally, bringing attention to a lady's handkerchief. The next one, the next word is intimate, means to say or suggest in an indirect way. Example, in page 250, the artisan becomes an intimate friend of the three musketeers. Next word is rendezvous, means a meeting with, a, with someone that is arranged for a particular time and place that is often secret. Example is, after agreeing to a rendezvous with Constance, the artisan is told that it is dangerous to remain in Paris. And the last one is bothersome, means causing trouble or difficulty. Example in page 252. He follows her and tries to protect her from a bothersome man. Those words are very figurative. Now, let's figure out who were the characters. Can you tell us, Ashusha? The main characters of the novel are the Artemis and the three musketeers named Athos, Aramis, and Portos. Athos, he is the most aristocratic of the three musketeers and also the oldest, but the Arcanine feels closer to Athos than to the other two. Long before, Athos reveals that he is the young nobleman who married the weak melody which means Lady Dimitri during his youth. The Artinan is deeply impressed by him. Atos' real name is Count de Lampire. Aramis, 
He is supposedly passing his time as a musketeer until the queen provides France with an heir. At which time, Aramis will enter the priesthood. He was brought up in a monastery, and it was assumed that he would become a priest. But when he was 19, he met a young lady and became extremely devoted to her. Portos, he is the most worldly of the three masters. Portos is extremely proud of his worldly good looks and his fine physique, which he shows off to its best advantage by dressing to impress the women of society, who seem to fully appreciate his good looks and his courtly attentions. So now we will proceed to the summary of the story. Can you tell us, Nelson? The Three Musketeers, a historical novel, is arranged in five parts. In the first, the introduction, the reader meets the heroes, the cadet, the artanan, and the king's musketeers, Athos, Portos, and Aramis. They become the, they become these parables. In the second part, the reader discovers that their inconsiderable interview going on in the court of Louis the Thirteenth. There is rivalry between the king and Cardinal de Richelieu, which is reflected in a rivalry between the king's guard and the cardinal's guard. What is more scandal follow the king's consort, Queen Anne of Austria and the Duke of Buckingham, who are in Liaso. In the third part, there is religious war between the Catholics and Protestants of France. There is siege at La Hotel. In the fourth part, a beautiful film fatal causes thus assassination of Duke of Buckingham, tries without success to poison the Artanan, and successfully poison another character. In the last part, she gets her retribution. Her executioner is the brother of Prince, whom she seduced in her will. The Artanan is rewarded with a promotion. The principal characters have their prototypes in real people, the king, queen, cardinal, and the other important members of the court, all of all, of, all existed. In fact, the Artanan is based on a real person. The king's guard, an elite force whose job was to protect the king, were dealt and trained from an early age in horsemanship and the use of arms. They were armed with muskets and rapiers. With guarding the king, they rode horseback and used their rapiers. But in war they fought on foot with their muskets. When Cardinal de Retiro saw, saw this impressive military unit, he formed his own guard and musketeers. Both corps wore scarlet uniforms. They were distinguished from each other by whether they rode grey or black horses. Not surprisingly, the two corps were rivals. Key points. Author, Alexander Dumas. Year published, July 1844. Year started. March 1844. Original title, Late Royce Musketeers. Oh, so that was what happened in the story. So now, Lance, can you tell us something that is related in your life about the story? Okay. The most encouraging line in the three musketeers is one for all, all for one. Meaning all the members of the group support each other, of the individual, individual members. And the individual members pledge to support the group. Basically, it means all have one common goal, that all working for, so they will work together to reach that goal. It's a great motto for teamwork, yes. and the ability to get things done if all teamwork for it. We can connect this to real life, for example, when your friends that usually hang out with you suddenly had trouble and caught your friends with it, and you felt because they were caught on it. But they insisted to help you no matter what, together as friends. Now, can you discuss the most empowering quotation in the story game? This is the quotation I've chosen in the text. United we stand, divided we fall. I have chosen this quotation because for me it has something that affects me. That it became special to me the moment I read this quotation. It has a theme of unity and for me, for a group to be successful, it has to be united. The meaning of this quotation was people who join together as a group are much harder to defeat than they would be separated. 
that is very inspiring. Now, Paul, can you show what you have illustrated about the story? This is the scene where Bonchua saved Constance from the abductors. Okay, our discussion is finished. I hope you learned something about the story that you can apply in your lives. Thank you.